Hi Minecrafters, welcome to another video. Today I will be doing a quick mod review of the, um, a quick m review of the Avatar The Last Airbender mod. If you've never heard of Avatar The Last Airbender, you, it's basically just a, mo a show by Nickelodeon that it's basically taking the ele four elements, um, fire, water, earth, and air, and then you could basically do cool stuff with it. And I'll be just show all of the stuff here and then and show what all of these things do and stuff like that. So what all of these items do and stuff like that. Yeah, that. so let's do the first thing where I'll show what everything does. I have some wa water things here to kind of show some of the water bending. So yeah, so this, so let's start off with fire. So the light fire, as you probably would guess, lights a fire. Yeah, that, ma yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Then the fire arc, this does deal some knockback things, but it's basically fire, fire that you can drag around and then shoot at something so if I go back here so there and I'll just and I'll just heal heal him oh god no don't you know I probably shouldn't I probably should have I probably should have You know, I probably should have I probably should not have made this out of wood when I'm doing the fire bending. Eh. Doesn't matter now I have the water So as you can see, it don't not it would it would fling him out of here, but that's basically it. So this is this would obviously light this on fire. So I'm not gonna do it, but on him. But so that's a fire arc. That's the flamethrower. So you basically just shoot fire, then fireball. You can drag this this flaming ball around and then shoot it pretty cool then uh, fire jump which you'll see does damage as well so that's pretty cool it's not like it's not only a it's not only a way that you can move around it also does damage and lights things on fire I think so then um you know it's so then it just makes you have a lot of buffs so if i hit him it'll obviously deal a lot of damage so i would kill him. so that's basically most no i think there's still one more yeah inferno punch which i need to show it with a villager it just lights him on fire. That's basically it. That's basically all it does. And it deals some knockback too. So it'd be like if there's a, so then it's, it's just a cool thing. That's all of the fire. I'll move on to earth. So earth control would be this and I can shoot, shoot blocks. And whenever things something's on the right, it's usually that then you can that that you press right click to do something. So this one you can either this one you can either pick something up and then just have it there and then shoot it away. Which let's see, does that place place it? That went super far, but what's going on? Oh god, that's a lot of lag. 
Um, where's where where's spawn? Where's spawn? Okay, I need I need to see further. But where is spawn? I need a compass. Compass. There. There's spawn. I just had. Okay, so that was weird. I was trying to check out if you could if it place the block, but that that was unnecessary. I'll cut that out probably. Okay, so you, as you can see, you can either throw. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna cut that out. This is just a quick video that I thought I could do. So as you can see, you throw it, and then you can also build it. So this is. A quick thing you can do okay what's going on here don't mind that don't mind okay there so you can build that's what would happen so that you can just go and you can build a staircase and you, you can see they have gravity to them so you can go go earth control and then you can place it there so you can I guess kind of build although don't don't place them next to each other you can do this, you can place that there, and then you can place that there, and then you can place that. It's, it's just weird a little bit. Then you can do a ravine, so you break blocks. I spent so long building that this is, so you, as you can see here, you can just go and do a ravine, and you can do it any direction. And I think the m you, there is a leveling system in this. So the more powerful this is, the longer it goes. A wall, you just build the wall up. And then you can, as you can see, it actually, it didn't just create things. And then you can either make it, either you can make it um, stay there. I didn't mean to do the ravine. Um, either y you can make the wall stay there, or you can shoot pieces of it, or or you can do something. I don't know. You you can figure that there's more, you there are more mod reviews, but. As far as I know, you can either shoot pieces of it or just or just make it stay there. Then you also have the mine blocks. Um, thing. So then you can mine blocks. Does it work on bedrock? Okay, it doesn't. So you can just mine. A large amount of blocks so it's so you have to just select an area of blocks it doesn't it's so yeah that's like maybe for some excavation you have to do or something so that is the wall that is the mine blocks my favorite ones my favorite ones are the you my favorite bending in this is actually earth bending although yeah yeah water bending is actually my favorite or air bending it's it depends so then you can also do an earth spikes so i'm guessing you 
I'm guessing it does damage, yeah. Yeah, it did actually a lot of damage. So I just couldn't go here and do Earth Spike. And it'll launch them up. Uh, so go in there. You know what? I have no use for you. Um, so yeah, it does a lot of, it launches them upwards and yeah. Also quick note, um, if you have, if you are a water vendor, you get actually haste and water breathing in water. That's, that's something I forgot to mention. So then also with earth bending, you can do the earth spike and then restore so you get a lot of buffs, but you get also very slow. So it's a quick way to just heal up or something. Then that's it. Next we have combustion bending. So that th this is actually more from the avatar from Ava from the A avatar of the Legend of Korra, and less from other things. For, but Yes. It's a lot of explosions. So there's, so there is, um, wait, let me quickly edit something in my, um, in my, um, OBS. So, yeah, combustion bending, explosion, just does a bunch of explosion, and then this. It more you have to be on the ground to do these but it's more of like in all directions like like there 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 th rather than in one rather than a selected thing so explosion would be wait so an expl so explosion. It actually doesn't explode anything. It just deals damage, which I think is neat. Um, that's combustion bending, basically. Then is air bending. So air gust. It just knocks them back. And I think it's also very long range. Yeah. It. This is a, a long ranged attack. And then there's the air jump that I think it's self-explanatory. And you can even do this one in mid-air. So it's a quick way. So if I were over here, um, I could select it. And then if I was like falling from a great height, I could launch myself into the water. And But it actually launches you further if you're on the ground and it's also slow down in water which is neat i think and i like it so you can do an air because it's air bending although i feel yeah then you have the air blade which is just a it's like it's basically sw the it's basically a an air blast i think they have it it's basically it's basically just um, a big burst of wind, of air, a big burst of wind, um, air, so, and then that is basically going all, ar all around, on the, like in front of you, like a f 45 degree angle in front of you. Next up is an air bubble, so you just can do it so then it's basically either you I, I I'm not so sure what you do with this either you make it bigger or you make it smaller so you go slower while you're in it I think and you also 
Also, I think you don't drown in it or something. It's it's just basic. Let, let me go and test it. Near. So mobs get flung all the way up in the air um, when they get in it, and you can either, I think, make it bigger, yeah, or you can make it smaller, like to get rid of it. Okay, let me just top of the downfall. Then, um, uh, after that, you have the cloud burst. So it's basically just the, I think, let me go and check. It's the same as the fireball, but with air, basically. So that's the cloud burst, the slipstream. I think, yeah, it just grants you a bunch of buffs. Wait. Wait, you first become invisible. You become invisible for a little bit, I think. Yeah, you become invisible during the s slipstream. Wait, slipstream. I think. Yeah, when you stop moving. You are invisible during the slipstream. Then the air burst is just um, again a very um, it's basically like the air bubble, but with more. But um, it's but it's less that they have to come close to you. It's just that it's a quick air bubble, basically. That's air bending. Next is water bending. So for the water, so it's just shoot. What's going on here? So let me. So water arc. You just it's basically just a quick arc of water, and then it just does damage to your opponent and doesn't knock them bar far too far back I think let's test it. yeah it just it just it just um, I think I think it just knocks them back like a few blocks so it's just uh, it's just a little bit of damage next up we have a wave which can only be done with water, I, I think, so yeah, if I go like this, it won't work, but if I, you just let me, okay, there, yeah, you can only do it with water, so, yeah, that's the wave, the water bubble, you have to take a little bit of water, and this will update the water, which I think is cool. And then you can, and then you can send it far, and it will create water if it hits a block. So it's like a little, it's like a little air, a um, water balloon, air balloon. No. Then you have, then you have the, thing, then you have the water skating. Which I don't get. What does that mean? Like, what does the thing where it goes down here mean? I, I have to investigate further. So you can slow it down with S. And it's basically just a quick method of transportation, which you can just go really far. And then you can do something to stop it like this or this to stop it. I have to find out what the thing where it's underneath the crossbar means. Then there's, then you have the water cannon, which it's just basically a minigun. 
which you just killed that poor villager and then you have the cleanse which will just give you which will just heal you so that's water bending then you have sand sand bending so you can just do a sand prison and keep them still then you can do a sand sandstorm It will just go on for a while. Got sand bending. Then there's the lightning. So lightning arc. It shoots there. Lightning spear, which will lag your game actually. Okay, this is the one that lags my game the most. Okay, yeah, so the it's a little bit buggy, but it's just basically lightning. And then my uh, my and then another one is the lightning rays, which will just shoot down lightning. And it, and, 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 us, and, yeah, the lightning actually kind of lags your game, so, be aware of that. Maybe it just lags my game, for some reason, but... So yeah, I'm just, just a little bit of advice if you're doing doing it. If you're um, using the ability, it might lag your game. And then you have the Lightning Wrath, which just will summon lightning. Nothing special. And then you have the Ice Bending, which you have the Ice Burst. Which is pretty cool. And then you just have the ice prison. Which is just which is just the sand prison, but but it deals a lot of damage. And that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully you will download this mod. Well, I don't really care, but but and also perhaps you could watch Avatar to so you actually understand what's actually going on here. That would actually be smart. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe for more content, and yeah. See you guys later.